So what we've done uh, over the last 24 hours is a quarterly evaluation of best practice. Uh, we've made a um, huge investment of people's time um, and effort to go through goals. Uh, we, we set ourselves five goals and uh, we only, only achieved three. So uh, it's, not, it's not something that's uh, disappointing. It would have been really nice to achieve our goals, but um, in going through that process and having that self-evaluation cycle that we've gone through, what we found is that maybe our goal setting was a little bit lofty um, and didn't really account for the resources that we had available to achieve those targets. Um, one of the critical elements of our sessions is, is getting really, really comfortable being uncomfortable and one of the hurdles has been I've got a really massive personality, I've got a huge ego, I'm very passionate, I've got very lofty goals, those are the things that we want, you know, thinking about the things that we want to achieve in the business. What we found is that people sort of on my team are a bit inclined to not challenge me on those things and say, you know what, that's bullshit, we're never going to be able to achieve that stuff uh, with this team uh, if you're asking for too much. So um, that challenge and that competency development for people to be able to speak up. Certainly a few people uh, by the end of the day were getting, were getting into the groove um, and it got really, really uncomfortable, uh, which is quite exciting. So that's probably one of the biggest hurdles uh, that we came across. Um, there's a couple of other things that happened in that process is we found that um, we got a bit distracted and we didn't stay on task on our goal. And it's almost like now we need to come out of that process and say, right, that's not my goal, I'm not going to do it because we've got these rocks to focus on. All these little pebbles in our shoe and the sand and all that sort of stuff that's around the rock um, uh, are the things that are distracting us and we're not getting uh, to those really uh, important goals in business. Something that um, you know is really critical to the success of best practice and any business, and this is a piece of advice I'd like to give you, um, and I'd like you know one of you out there watching this to, to take this on board, is that you know, think about the analogy of going to the gym and doing exercise and you set yourself a weight loss target. You've got your target weight, or you, it's a weight loss target or a weight gain target depending on your, your training. And you, you know, you want to get to that particular thing. And, you know, for me that might be getting to that 88 kilogram mark. And so if I don't get on the scales and I don't measure myself, how do I know that I'm tracking? And you know what, we talk about, you know, one of the really important principles in this, in this process of let's get comfortable being uncomfortable. It's not comfortable to exercise. It's not comfortable to run a marathon. It's not comfortable to go to the gym and lift weights. You know, you might have fun on the day, but you're gonna feel the pain in the muscles. Um, and, and today in the business, the day after we've had this session where we were really uncomfortable, um, you know, we're feeling our muscles today. We're feeling, but you know, we're, we're feeling, you know, uncomfortable and like we put a lot of hard work in. But you know what? No one has ever got out of bed and regretted you know, going to the gym. No one's ever got out of bed and regretted doing exercise. So in the business, it's really important. It's really important to have that goal. And you know what? It's more important to stop and measure and see how you're tracking. If you don't get on the scales and see what your weight is, then you're never gonna know whether you're achieving your target. You're never gonna know if the work that you're doing is effectively getting you in the right direction. So for us, we stop. The meeting that we've just had, we set 10 weeks in advance. We knew that we were going to start at 8 a.m. 10 weeks in advance, and we stuck to that. We didn't change that, and that was our point of self-evaluation.